In the previous lesson, we had a first or just initial test for our company code because we posted a simple document. But now uh, you have to remember that we, um, in the previous lessons, we also had some uh, customizing settings. For example, we created a document type. We also uh, created uh, some, uh, or uh, just check the field status customizing for some of our uh, business partners and specifically for vendors also for customers and uh, now we uh, after we created master records of vendors of customers but we also created uh, master records of general ledger accounts so well now we want to test all of this in a in a second test which is uh, uh, another way to t uh, just see if all these settings were done correctly so let's jump to the accounts payable group of apps and we will start the create incoming invoices app so well, at first, as you can see, you can just have a look at all the fields in this screen and we don't have the document type available, but we also can call now the journal entry type. It's not available for input or to modify the value. So well, uh, as we have been saying, we want to test that as well. So for this, uh, we have to come all the way to the top and click on editing options. And uh, in the bottom section, the special options for single screen transactions, we have the document type option uh, field. Right now it's saying document type hidden. That is the reason we don't have the, the field available. But let's open uh, this uh, list of possibilities and let's uh, select the document type ready for input option. So now we uh, have it uh, available for, uh, well, in the preview screen for input. So, well, uh, we need to save this uh, as you can see it's just saying here at the bottom right change user uh, master because this is important to mention this is just specifically for our own user that just means that if you need to do it uh, of course uh, in the in the sub logon that you're using and and specifically with the user that has been assigned to you in a, a an, in an organization but you need to come here and uh, set this up correctly of course this is also if we, uh, we are consultants uh, so most of the times we need to teach some of the users or just explore with the users the screens so this is a really nice tip uh, for tell you to tell them uh, uh, so now the field is here available uh, because yes um, it's a document type it's mandatory of course and we will modify the value but first let's just start just entering the vendor the vendor ID which if you remember, this is the, the uh, idea for the vendor that we created in the uh, previous lessons. And well, now let's enter the invoice date. For this, we want uh, today's date. And let's also enter a reference ID here for this document. Now, um, this document will be just for an invoice uh, that uh, we received from uh, one of our vendors because we uh, had a, a, a sports car rental uh, for the CEO in one uh, city in he, he or she, let's say, they delivered a conference. So, well, uh, the amount was uh, 1,000 euros. It was only like for one day. <laughs> and well, after we have entered all of this, let's select calculate tax. And also, as you can see, the tax code will be for just a 10% tax. So well, let's uh, now modify the document type. And for this, if you remember, we have the uh, executive expenses uh, document type that we created in the, some of the previous lessons. So well, we are using a lot of the things that we created uh, previously. And again, this is an, a really nice test. So well, now we have to come here to the bottom section and let's enter the ID of the account. So, if you remember, this was the ID for the sports car rental. Uh, executive car rental, but it was a sports car, sorry. Now, let's enter the uh, amount in document currency. And, well, last, last but not least, we need to also enter a valid cost center for this posting. So, well, uh, for this, uh, let's just enter the executive services cost center. Perfect. And now we are good to go. We can just post this document. And let's see if now uh, the system uh, uh, says, okay, uh, everything that you uh, had set up previously in the customizing is correct. Because as you can see, now we have the valid um, 
document number here. So uh, also important, this is coming from the document uh, uh, the document number range that we assigned to the uh, set one document type. And again, this actually just means that everything that we did uh, previously is correct. So we can just now quit this app and this second test was uh, passed. So, um, well, we of course uh, still had a lot of things to learn, but uh, 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 that's gonna come in some of the following lessons. So for the time being, thank you so much.